Hey, hi, how is it going? Today we are grinding out some money. So we essentially started this morning out with about 800 credits. Um, figured, you know what? I'm just kind of hanging out and grinding. So let's go ahead and hop on stream uh, and do some money making. So I am battling a sinus infection today. So if I do sound a little goofy, uh, that's, that's kind of why. But essentially what we're doing is we are using our red deer grind method to go ahead and grind out some cash. So essentially what we're doing is setting up tree stands, setting up tents, uh, and combining that into a way to pick up deer quickly and move around those zones as we need to. So essentially, if you're chasing cash, don't worry about shooting fives and up. But if you are trying to cultivate that money, uh, and, and herd all at the same time, then yeah, shoot fives and up. But if you are playing on like three maps, like Layton or something like that, and you're shooting whitetail, then go ahead and shoot ones and twos. Uh, however, you want to kind of target the, the twos you best you can, because those are going to be the quality of animals that you're looking for over the long term. see we are just farming cash so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot a bunch of those females as well now when you shoot females they're gonna come back as females so you're not really losing anything out of that herd uh, but if you're shooting things like threes and twos as far as red deer go you're gonna end up damaging your herd management now it's one of those things where it kind of is what it is uh, if, if that's what you're doing but obviously the better you can manage that the better you'll be off. We should have, yeah, hopefully quite a few down pretty quickly. Use a bunch of females here. Let's see that 308 is the follow-up shot is pretty quick and pretty efficient. We're going to hop to our next stand area, let those animals fall, and come back to them here in a minute. Now, since we are grinding out cash, we definitely want to try to maintain our rates. Which means you want to make sure that you're picking up as many animals as possible. Now, if we're trying to go for trophy spawns, a lot of times I'll just down a bunch, back out, reset those spawns, come back in, and usually come back to much, much better spawns. Now, the thing is, too, these bigger animals are going to pay better. So that is a consideration. You still want to target the larger of the group. Now, obviously, we're still going for lung shots here. You want to run polymer ammo. Uh, if you don't have the 308 and you're doing a free run, the 270 is a pretty dang effective rifle for this because you can get a lot of quick follow-up shots. It's got good pen. It handles well. It's a very good rifle for this if this is what you're going for. So, and we are... Absolutely hosting these things. And that's exactly what we want, right? Is we want to harvest as many as possible, get them down, so we can go pick them up at about a grand a piece, you know. So you're not really losing a ton of money. Uh, you're sitting at like $800 per stack of ammo. But you can make that back fairly quickly if you play your cards right. Go ahead and jump on up here. Now, I actually would say you can target females more specifically uh, because, like I said, they are going to come back as female. So doing that is kind of a big advantage, really. Now, you see these animals are turned away from us. I'm going to take the 22. 
pop a shot off. We're just going to take that headshot. Uh, missing a bunch. That's fine. We got a few down, so it's not like a huge deal. All right, so that should be quite a few down out of that herd. And then we're going to make one more jump before we go start picking up animals. What up, Glitter? How you doing this morning? Well, this noon. <laughs> We've been... Uh... We've been hanging on YouTube a little bit more. Honestly, the Twitch stuff is going fantastic, right? But I love the ability to to connect with new people on, on YouTube. And it seems like I'm connecting with a lot more new people on a regular basis on YouTube over Twitch. Um, obviously, Twitch has raids and things like that that work a little bit better. But I feel like the community over here is getting very little love other than from like Lady, Scarecrow, and on occasion a few others. But I'm seeing a lot of people from the Spanish-speaking people you know, over on YouTube uh, versus seems like a lot of German over on Twitch. Snowed in. Yeah, we got snow coming up here soon, too. Not necessarily looking forward to it. But it's just one of those things where, you know, it's uh, it, we're up in the north. <laughs> it's going to happen. But we have been absolutely grinding things out. I've got a bunch of tips coming that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Once I earn a little bit of cash, we're going to go ahead and... It's a myth. We're going to go ahead and uh, and circle back around towards some rabbit hunting tips. You get some clips for that, that video. The rabbit hunting, I think, is one of the more difficult of the animals just because of the burrows, right? The burrows just don't show on the map. So, figuring out some tricks and some tips on how to do that has been absolutely key to getting those rabbit harvests. There are a bunch of sevens in this area, a bunch of females. Another myth? A myth or seven? I can't quite mark it. Alright, since these ones are probably going to spook the easiest, we're going to try to hit that five. Maybe we'll start that six. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that one. We'll hit that one. Reload. What up, Papa Grizz? How are you doing, homie? Grizz, did you stream today? I didn't get a notification. Twitch has been absolutely awful about noties lately. Which is another reason why I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's uh let's do some YouTube. Let's switch it up for a little bit and see how things kind of go. Alright, we are making money. Alright, that should be quite a few down. We should be able to go ahead and run over here, pick up this myth, and then start kind of collecting some cash. Like I said, we started about 860 creds this morning. I bought a bunch of de or a bunch of uh, taxes. I bought a bunch of ammo. Uh, essentially, I tried to, to wear my cash down so that we could circle back around and do this. Today is Tuesday, isn't it? Dude, I am so flustered with my days lately. It's been it's been a real issue, man. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, she's got a day off, man. Absolutely. Enjoy that time with her. Spend some time chilling. So, last night 
<laughs> we spent a bunch of time doing some uh some quad back buffalo hunts with a longbow. Dude, what an absolute hoot. That video should be processed here soon uh, on the YouTube side of it. So <laughs> it was a blast, man. It was an absolute blast. Really glassing much over here. But honestly, uh, the buffalo moves so dang slow compared to anything else on that map. Like, I was chasing a bear down, and oh my goodness, those bear scoot. That's right. Oh, dude, it was, it was a blast. So, uh, the nice thing with YouTube, too, is I can go back at my live stream and straight up cut out all the garbage. So, essentially, if people go to rewatch the stream, they're only getting the good parts. I absolutely love that. I love the ability to, to cut things down, to be as efficient as possible in the streams. Uh, you just don't get that with Twitch, you know, without cutting the VOD, downloading it, going through the whole process. Come on, doggo. I mean, I made a post, but yeah, you know, we're, we're hunting like the natives. We're hunting off quad back and the amount of people are like, oh, the natives didn't have quads. Like, hey, homie, I'm aware. I'm aware the natives didn't have quads. It was a joke. Like, good grief, guys. Yep, you can edit right on YouTube. You can go ahead and make your cuts right on there. If you click on, uh, I think it's content and analytics. There's an editor on the left side. Um, you can do that from your PC. So you can like, you can make cuts, you can make shorts out of it, you can um, circle back into a bunch of stuff. So the cool thing with posting YouTube videos now is if you're watching on your phone, there's a remix button. So on that remix button, you could take your long form video, say your Fallout video, take a small clip of that, hit remix, and it will actually put a little link in the bottom of your short so that people can go from that short to your long video. And that has been great. I, I've seen quite a bit of traffic from that because uh, I did that waterfall one. And there seemed to have been quite a bit of interest in that once I did that. Yeah, exactly. And it's like I cut out a lot of the garbage. Uh, and a lot of the stuff's getting cut out. It, it went from about an hour stream down to about a 15 minute long video. Um, which is huge, right? I mean, that's absolutely massive being able to cut stuff down that far to be able to circle back around and have content that's useful for people besides being entertaining so we are already up about 7k if not 8k like i said each one of these red deer should be about a grand if you get that quick kill, that's where like the 308 really comes into play. Is being able to still maintain your integrity versus like the 300 where, yeah, the 300 will down stuff immediately, but you do lose a little bit of cash on it. Uh, not a huge deal. Not a huge deal if you're not that worried about it. You know, when you're already doing okay, but... For those of us that are on the welfare, it is a problem. <laughs> yeah, four can stay. We are just downing things left and right. So now we're going to head on down there in that tent. Now, that's the big thing with being able to afford to have extra tents is, yeah, you're going to lose some spots that you could potentially be harvesting from, but you also gain the advantage of a much, much faster go. You're being called a moderate. Homie, literally watched you do that live. And I know you're not a moderate. It's hilarious. The people, people that can't do, or won't do, I guess I should say, are, are always willing to say hey you're doing something that's not legit but i mean i know you i know 
how hard you grinded to get that point. Uh, you know, so I'm not... I've never... Thought never crossed my mind. Thought never crossed my mind. Uh, for those of you that are rabbit hunting, oh, right next to these burrows, you'll see a, a decoy right there. So that decoy... is actually a turkey decoy. The turkey decoy, what those are doing, is they're marking all of my burrows. You can't mark them on the map. So, like, if I walk up to this burrow, investigate burrow, it's not a need zone, right? But you get this little tiny marker that goes away next time you spot something. But the turkey decoys obviously stay forever. So I'm using turkey decoys on this specific map because there's no ducks uh, to, to maintain all of my spots. Oh yeah, it's you know. And then you got people like like Lady, who Lady Legend is fantastic, right? She does a lot of work behind the scenes. She grinds constantly. I imagine there are a bunch of people that say the same thing about her. Um, but I I just I, I certain people have integrity, right? And it's one of those things where those people have busted their butts, you know, to get to where they are. And it's like, oh yeah, it's a video game, but at the same point, homie, it's a game you gotta grind on. You know, it's not like guys where... Uh, who's it? Zombie? Who has multiple great ones on his map because he has killed, like, 30, 40,000 animals, you know what I mean? Like, those dudes spend so much time off-stream grinding out, it's nuts. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it's a little expensive, uh, but... You know, it's one of those things where if you are on a duck map like Layton, those Mallard decoys come 10 in a pack for about 4k. So it's way more cost effective to do that. Yeah, one more. I wonder if we actually got this one down or if it's another injured animal. Being 75 to 100, I'm not exactly sure confident that that's going to go down. Yeah, that one's not going to go down. I just, I'm not confident that uh, at that bleed rate, it's going to go down very quickly. Oh, I am low on ammunition. So we're already at 19k. So once you get rolling on this, and if you have ammo stacked up, you can make 100k an hour. Fairly quickly and fairly easily. Um, I've done better than that on occasion if I can just get the spawns to stack correctly. What up, Mama? You enjoying your day off? You're, I'm surprised you're not screaming at Papa saying, Hey, homie, go do something. I kind of think working outside the house too, though, is you're uh, a little more apt to hang out at home when you have your days off. There are bodies hitting the floor. So I finally figured out this morning that I'm an idiot when it comes to zeroing. I was like, man, why, why is my zeroing not working? Well, you got to activate the stupid thing. And I didn't realize that for a hot minute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Come to me. Doing nothing is doing something. You know, and I'm one of those people, too, that, like, I enjoy my days off when I get to just kind of sit, relax, hang out, and just enjoy myself. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to, to every once in a while, just kind of sit and chill. It's not like you have the opportunity all the time. Do I have... Let's throw that 16 power scope on the 22... So that decoy over here, there we go. Okay, there are, there's the rabbit burrow there. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, let's go ahead and pick up some more animals. And animals. Do this sinus infection though, I am over it. I'm done with it. 
luckily we've got this this thing called teledoc right where i can go ahead and call on the doctor and they will ask me a million questions we figured out yeah science infection homie like, oh okay so much better than having to go into a hospital or go into an, you know, an immersion care type place just to get freaking told yo irrigate your nostrils homie Yeah, dude, Deer Isle. I, so I played a little bit of Deer Isle, played some Livonia last night um, on our server. Um, dude, I am having such a hard time finding deer. Like, I want to turn them up, but I also don't want to ruin the integrity of the hunting. But, like, good grief, man. It is so hard to find deer on that map. Dude, these bodies are just stacked. If I take that, I think I'm going to ruin this need zone. Right, we are collecting. Yeah, we're back over top where we just spent in ammo. All right, doggo. There's more blood right shaw. Right, let's grab yo quad. Yeah, and, and I've heard great things about Deer Isle as far as the animal populations go from from stock. Um, the only reservation I have is Deer Isle is such a freaking huge map. You know, so it's like with a low pop, you're never going to find anybody else. Um. And I feel like Livonia kind of rides that line, right? Where you should run into people every once in a while, especially they're hunting. You should hear them shooting. Uh, you should be able to kind of pick a few people out here and there. I mean, Chernoos is fine too, but we've all played so many hours of Cherno at this point. Yeah, it's, it's freaking massive. And besides being massive, it's a lot of water, too. Which is cool from the aspect of something different, but what a pain to navigate. Because you're wet all the time if you want to swim across anything or you want to to navigate in some way. Uh, does Jerry have boats? Is that a thing in, in DayZ? I don't think I've ever ran across a boat in DayZ. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I am officially done with Cherno at this point. I've just put too many hours into it. I mean, between playing on, you know, Xbox, playing on PC, playing across everything, it, there's just uh, the same thing, you know what I mean? There are raft mods. So that was the thing, too, is our... if I'm going to play Deer Isle, I think I want some type of boat mod. Otherwise, it's just such a pain to navigate around that place. Yeah, it's not like it'd be game breaking by any means. It would just it would kind of add to it. Which, you know, it it needs something on that map. Like, that map is so big, you pretty much need 100 players. Otherwise, it's just not feasible to run into people on a regular basis. Yeah, and swimming takes for freaking ever to get anywhere. Yep. 
These females are getting absolutely smoked, though. Ooh, that was a good hit, I think. Was, uh... Oh, are you kidding me? Ooh, that looked like a good lung hit. A good lung hit. Go ahead and jump on the old quad. The trusty steed. And pick up some animals. Now, our big goal here is I want to earn, like, what, 75k to get that 300. All right, so we get the 300. Then we can kind of head over to Medved. Or take us a moose. But the 300 should make this grind a little bit faster, too. Since it's going to down animals so freaking quickly compared to the 308. Now, 308 is fine. The 300 is fine. Or the 303 is fine. But, man, after playing on the Xbox again and having that, that 300 canning, it's just... Okay. It's just so hard to go back to something that doesn't insta down animals. Like, dude, we are picking up so much money so quickly. I did go ahead and throw away, like, what's it, 36k on a 16 time scope, which I actually really enjoy that scope. Uh, so there's something you can do to maintain your clarity. Go ahead and just give this a second to steady out. So if you notice, there's a heck of a lot of aim sway. I hold my breath, and it goes away about 75%. What you can do, though, is if you just hold that button or keep tapping it a million times, you see how steady <laughs> that scope actually is. It's crazy how steady that scope is. But basically, you're just spamming your hold breath button and on Xbox. What is that, like left bumper or something like that? So lung hit. I mean, we're still getting 1,200 per female. You know, like that's... That adds up immediately. Besides the rifle score and the leveling, you know, so if you have this map available to you through buying the DLC, then, oh my goodness, you can level up so quickly. It's just, it's insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, let's go ahead and head over here. We'll get a spawn reset here in a second. I just want to pull some of this pressure away from our real money making areas. Okay, yes, uh-huh, yep, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, and a female's over here. There should be quite a few hit. Be able to jump on that quad, head on over there, pick up some animals, hopefully. Now, like I said, this obviously is not like the ideal way to herd manage. But at the same point, I've got my dime that I was chasing. I've got essentially what I wanted. I've got a uh, melanistic, I've got a piebald, and I've got my dime. So I'm not like overly worried about getting ultra rares or super rares or anything like that. I just kind of want a dime per species per map. 
we're doing that, right? We're effectively knocking that out. So before too long, I might start picking up some of these tents, moving them to different maps. Uh, we might go back to Reventuli and pick up a bunch of animals over there. We still have, like, the Cape Kelly's, the, um, oh gosh, a bunch of other birds to knock out. There, there's a bunch of stuff we could do over there. Yeah, the herd management stuff, like, it's fun for a minute, right? I mean, it physically works. I've proven that it works, statistically. So I know that if I do decide to do that, I can. Um, but at this point, dude, I just want to get my dimes, have some fun, and enjoy the hunt. I mean, that's why we were chasing buffalo on freaking quad <laughs> last night. I mean, it's just one of those things where... It's a game. It's not real life hunting. It's not birds on rev. Yeah, I hear there's a couple of uh, of flying rats or something like that on rev. I think it's what they are. But like, I want to do a turkey hunt. You know, I want to do you know all of that type of stuff, and I want to do more archery. Um, being as shotgun openers hitting here soon in Michigan, we're probably going to do a slug gun hunt here soon too for whitetail. Yeah, and I think that that stuff is what's really going to be a ton of fun is figuring out that the 10 gauge slug is so overpowered for, you know, these smaller animals like whitetail and blacktail. That it just makes it an absolute hoot knocking stuff out with that thing. Okay, I would like some. Okay, or just, just, you know, that's where having two rifles comes into play is not having to reload all the time it does make things a heck of a lot faster see how steady that is though at a distance like oh my goodness fast travel over here trigger this spawn over on this tent so we can go ahead and hopefully take a couple off this tent and then fast travel back Yeah, we are up so much cash so quickly. It is absolutely insane. And that's like my one hesitation, right, of pulling all these tents is I can just come over here to T, make a bunch of money, go hunt where I want to hunt, come back, make a bunch of money. You know, so T might very well be one of the last maps that I go to complete because of the ability to make cash so quickly and so easily. Okay, um, oh, it is super froggy. I think I got some good hits on those, but I couldn't quite tell through that fog. We'll see if they start falling through that uh, the pressure map. In the meantime, we're going to run over here on the quad, pick up these couple. Yeah, they fell. They fell real good. Grab the quad. Kind of thing too, right, is you don't want to spend a bunch of time tracking animals, so make sure you're getting good solid lung hits or heart hits. You, you don't want to spend an hour looking for animals that aren't actually dead. 
you know, and that's really where the dog comes into play, is the dog makes it so much faster to track stuff down. There we go. Got two hits on that one. 1,400 off that one. Let's go pick up the other two. I don't think I got a hit on the other one. The other one, if it's not dead in that area, there's just no way that is a very effective hit. At least not worth my time to go check it out anyway. I mean, a spine shot does take him down real quick. Big stags right there are gold. And a silver. Hop over to this tent, go pick those ones up. So mind you, this is just like one quick rotation. You know, we could make multiple rotations on the same animals. Time and time again, clear out the herds essentially, circle back around, and be just rolling in the cash. Alright, so this thing's gotta be real close. Yeah, we're already at 46k. There's two animals over here that are injured. This one is probably going to die, though. What up, Michael? How is it going, homie? Michael, did you get a chance to catch that, uh, that bison hunt that you asked for? Dude, that was an absolute blast. I had a ton of fun. I had an absolute ton of fun chasing those things. That uh, I don't know if this one went down. I'm not sure. I mean, that's it's a pretty long blood trail for it not to be down at 25%. You know what I mean? I don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tap. Tap to turkey. Oh, come on. Hold your breath. Oh yeah, it's a, it's posted on the YouTube channel, buddy. Um, so it is up. It is labeled under bison hunt. Yep, so we did it last night at 9 p.m. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my normal stream times. Uh, we stream at 9 p.m. East. But today, I had to kind of skip work because I had a sinus infection, and my fever was all sorts of crazy. So we're like, yeah, let's let's not push it. Um, I'll just go back in the shop tomorrow, and, and we'll, we'll make something. Solid hit. Nice, solid hit on that turkey. Alright, let's, uh... Gonna take stock of where we are now. So we're at 47k at this point. Um, it hasn't really been that long, right? We've been at it... For about an hour or so, um... But it's it's not like we've spent a lot of time really doing what we're supposed to be doing here. We spent a little bit of time talking, a little bit of time hanging out. Um, thousand dollar coin, heck yeah, dude, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So what we can do is we can reset our time. Let's uh, stock up on ammo again. 
we'll make one more rotation. And after one more rotation, we should have enough to get that 300 canning. So that 300 canning should be what where our kind of goal is if you have the Yukon map. Because that 300 is clutch. I think it's awesome. It, it downs animals so quickly for like reds and things like that. It, it's just so effective. It's nuts. Oh, do, what's the coin? Is it a like a commemorative coin or is it like a U.S. mint coin? Six, a four. All right, homie, what is this? So right now we're just shooting reds, earning some cash. Our goal is to see how much money we can earn. So I've had times where I've earned about a hundred K in an hour. Just shooting everything that that stands there. Um, tiny mistake. Oh, look at that seven. Whoop. I think I may have missed that female. I feel like I got a good hit. Ooh. Okay, hit him twice. So I probably spooked that other herd, but it is what it is. Oh, okay. Printing mistake, I got you. Okay, yeah, so any of those that you find that are that are printing mistakes, dude, they are worth good money. We uh spent a little bit of time with the kids doing essentially penny hunts. We'll get a jar of pennies from the bank. And Sort through them, try to find mistakes, try to find things like that. And it's been surprising how much extra you can make by doing that. Um, yeah, it's only, you know, five, ten bucks here and there, five, you know, whatever. But at the same point, if you make five dollars off a penny, that's a whole lot of pennies <laughs> to rebuy. You know, so it adds up pretty quickly. Our big thing lately has been Pokemon cards. Um, for those of you that aren't aware... I have another channel called Daily Cliche. Uh, that channel is primarily a COD channel, but I also do some Pokemon stuff for eBay under that same name. Uh, so we are selling a bunch of Pokemon uh, Game Boy games, a bunch of cards, um, super rares, things like that. Like, it has been, oh my goodness, it's been real cool seeing what the market is like on a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, we've made so much extra money off of that, it's insane. Oh, look at all those chickens. No. That's the downside of playing COD a bunch is you're like, yo, I've got a 40 round mag. I'll be fine. I don't. I got a five round mag. I don't even know how many we have down at this point. Yeah, I would definitely be down to have 10 rounds in the AR mag. Even the 22 is only a 5 round mag for the AR. Which is super weird. It's like, 
for coyote hunting, we go out with 20 rounds. I mean, that's just what we do. And we're hunting at night, typically. So we're hunting, you know, night vision or thermals. Maybe a spotlight if you're running a budget run. Uh, but typically, got a night vision scope on an AR. Dude, I would be fully down for a, a limited time event with full auto, just, just for fun. You know, like I said, it's not, it's not like this is actual hunting. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's barely a hunting sim. You know, so just give me something that increases the fun factor. I am going to do that so many times. It is unreal. That's a good long hit. Oh. Low there. I can't believe I missed that second shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a... It's a lose your license, take your gun, go to jail type of thing. However, in Michigan, we hunt with suppressors a lot of times for coyotes, squirrels, rabbits, things like that, right? So, in Michigan, it's significantly easier to get a suppressor uh, because they consider hearing protection. Uh, so, essentially, if you're shooting a bunch of shots off at, like, a coyote, a lot of guys run suppressors so they can get multiple shots off for one. For two, it doesn't damage your hearing nearly as bad uh, as obviously running non-suppressed. Yeah, so it's 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 not an uncommon thing now, especially up north, um, up in the UP and up past like the Baldwin area. A lot of people do it. It's just become kind of commonplace, especially for the guys that are hunting like wolves for livestock management. You're busting off a ton of shots. This fog can go away at any time. Four. Oh. Hello there. I just had to put two into that one because of myth. That second one phased? The second shot phased? Is that what I saw? Oh, dude, waterfowl hunting is an absolute blast. Thanks for stopping in, dude. I I appreciate you stopping in and checking in. But yeah, like I said, that bison video is on the YouTube channel, so go ahead and check that out when you get a second, homie. And hopefully it's a little bit cleaned up. So <laughs> by the time everybody else gets to it, it'll be uh, a little, little shorter, a little more cleaned up. Not as, you know, long as what a three-hour stream that a lot of guys do. Um, so that's where the fog is starting. Okay, so we've got that seven. I'll take that seven first, I do believe. Boop. 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 Booping so many of them. We're just booping them right in the nose. All right, lung. Right in the breather. The old breather valve. Seven. Tack reload, tack reload, tack reload. Okay, that one's gonna go down. Uh. Uh. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I thought I hit those, but the splashes were behind them? Question mark? Look here, goat. Well, I'm goats up there doing goat things. Well, there are there are animals down. Oh ho ho. I'm going to do that every time, I swear. I swear like that, uh, the Glock would be super helpful. Look at you. Look at him. That is a handsome goat. Goat's napping. That goat's also napping. I think it's hoofing it. Oh, I'm tired, goats. Are you going to bleed out or what? You know what? Take a couple more for the road. Uh, will the 22 do it? I've never tried shooting a red deer with a 22. Oh my god, it's not losing health. Oh, my zeroing. Ah! You idiot. Yo, that goat is magic. What? All right. Okay. Okay. That goat just refuses. It's just like, nah, fam. Oh, I hit it that time. Huh. Okay. Okay. Alright, so either the gun is off, or I am a terrible shot. Both things are entirely possible in this scenario, by the way. Entirely possible. Most annoying thing about running out of ammo is having to go ahead and throw it back on. What do I have even for a backup gun? Let's try that 12 slug uh, as a backup for when critters get close. Ditch the pistol. Give me the catch, Dory. I do a lot of waterfowl hunting, so the catch, Dory, has really grabbed my attention. Rifle scope. We'll just ditch that one for right now. Shotgun scope. Throw a slug in. And our scope. Grab our steed. All right, let's pick up some critters. There are so many animals just laying here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It took you long enough, Michael. I was scared. I panicked. Got 
There are so many animals in this hill. I'm glad you missed the uh, the 22 shots because that was not something I'm proud of. That was uh, that was a mess. We're honest. What's over there? Oh, bodies. And that's pretty high. We got the vital hit, but man, that was close to not being a good shot. Oh, so I pulled the 22 out. It was just shooting at red and, uh, and goats. And I swear the 22 was like falling at their feet. I just wasn't aiming high enough, I'm assuming, but. Okay. We just picked up like, what, 8K right there? That one's, that one's not down. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah. Uh, so, there's also a thing, too, coming up where I'm going to be looking for people who want to and can actually play on PC. Um, so, want to go ahead and like to do that waterfall hunt. But that, and I want to try to get some people together to give me a hand. Oh, yeah, here's the needs out. Oh, pigs, okay. To help me find some need zones for uh, Medved. Because um, Medved is going to be my next push, I think. Um, I see a lot of people have searched for Mississippi Acres over the last little while, too. I think that's been a really hot topic lately for some reason. Um, I kind of want to circle back around, too, though, go back to Layton and try to do our free grind over there. So essentially using only free to, you know, free to play guns. Free to play gear uh, and try to do it that way. But I don't know, man. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next. So I've got Reventuli that I need to finish off. And I've got a bunch of maps that I need to finish off. Which is kind of the part of this whole, you know, money push thing. Also, um, debating on grabbing this on, okay, we're, 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 no, we're not doing that. We're going to go ahead and probably download on the Xbox as well. Um, so I want to do some lodge get, uh, tours. I want to check out some lodges of what you guys have got. Uh, so I want to kind of see what, what's in everybody's lodge at this point. Thing there is I gotta find my capture card. So I'm, uh, I only stream on on and play on one PC, so I don't have a capture card anymore uh, since I don't need one. But got one somewhere. It's just a matter of finding the stupid thing. There's a tradition that we had where we would always load into New Zealand servers early in COD. Yep, I've got an Xbox, i got a PlayStation, um, and obviously the computer. So we can jump around and do different things, too, if we felt like. There's a 
fairly bad hit on that first one. All right, let's go ahead and jump over here. Get our pick em ups. Get our pick em ups. But yeah, ideally, I can go ahead and, and grab the Xbox out of the kids' room for, you know, during the day or whatever when they're not using it. And uh, we can do some, like, lodge tours. We can check out what we've got going on. I want to see what the community has to see kind of where I'm I'm at. I put a ton of hours on this on Xbox. But, I mean, I've, I've switched so hard to PC for this game. It's just, I, dog, get, dog, are you kidding me, dog? It's just one of the things where I, I just haven't had an interest in playing on console after playing on PC. Solid, what, 4 or 5k right there? Oh no, my zeroing. Oh no, my zeroing. No! No! My zeroing was at like 150. Pain. Okay, there's one injured pretty heavily over there. I'm going to have to track that down here in a second. I mean, we really did damage on these things. Oh my goodness. Sixty five K. Not too bad. Not too bad. more right here dude that rabbit there's four right here okay that rabbit was just standing there laughing at me I swear if I stand still I won't get hit Ooh, we're getting close We are getting close. Uh, doggo? Oh, okay, okay, we're going. Jeez. I'm gonna go check my lodge out here in a second too. I don't have a ton on play or on computer, uh, but I've got some fairly decent animals that are rares. Sitting in Yo Lodge right now. But at these numbers that we're taking to animals and the amount of sevens that we're taking, we really should start seeing more myths start spawning here anytime now, too. Um, and if that's the case, then we're getting really close to having a bunch of dimes spawn more than likely as well. So right now, I think if we did start to herb manage, we'd be really well off to getting some really big animals starting to spawn. Uh, let's go and hit the lodge real quick. Take a peek at what I got. I know I've got some in the saved that I need to tax as well.
But I know I'm missing some species too out of some maps. So let these oh, the spawns re redo their thing. Um, we'll come right back to it here in a minute. See, my lodge is fairly empty for the most part. I've got my dime white tail. Um, so the idea for this wall is going to be just dime, you know, deer. Okay. So here we have the hall of birds. All dimes. Tufted. Um, teals. A piebald mallard. A regular dime mallard. Goose, snow goose, or a tundra goose, and a gray leg. A couple of turkeys. So we've got our piebald corner over here, our piebald whitetail. Um, this one is just a silver. This is also just a silver, but that is a gorgeous looking mount. We've got our dime blonde. Is that a grizz? Brown bear? Our melaninistic red deer? And then our first dime red deer right here. So basically what I'm doing is anything that's dime, the first of a dime for any species, I'm mounting. Now, I did miss one. Uh, I, I shot a feral goat on stream, and I was super pumped about it, right? Well, in my my struggles I completely screwed up and didn't tax the stupid thing also for those of you that are old enough make sure you freaking vote today because today is the day Trophy manager, saved harvest. So I've got, uh, this one should be a dime, but I botched the shot. I killed this one by shooting it in the foot. And a couple of white tail. Nothing too crazy, nothing overly special. So let's head back to T, make one more rotation. And see if we can get some quality taken down. Uh, I have no ammo. It unloads your gun. And you go to the lodge? Question mark? Is that a thing? Thanks for stopping in, dude. I, I appreciate you stopping in, homie. Appreciate you stopping in. Alright, so let's see what we got. A six, a four. Seven, a couple of sevens, not bad. We'll uh, we'll take both of those sevens for sure, for show. Sure. Go for those lung shots, as they are by far the most efficient. Okay, way to take those things down. I felt like that was a good hit. Yeah, see, it was, I felt like that was a good hit. Look at all them goats. Oh, well, that herd re popped. Myth. Two myths in the same herd. 
Seven. Piebald. Another piebald. Let's go. All right, so I guess we take that pie first, right? Or we save that pie. I don't know. I gotta make sure you get shots and myths. Yeah, let's let's save that pie. At least for a rotation or two. I thought that was a good hit. Missed. Meast. That was a good solid hit. Good solid hit. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and head over yonder. Okay, okay, yep. To the north. You'd think as much time as I spend at the computer, filming, recording, working, I would quit hitting the stupid microphone, but dude, it, it's so often that I bump the stupid thing. So, seven. Come on, calm the breath. What I swear, I swear I saw. No, I, I thought I saw a piebald female, but I think it was just the zebra effect. Oh my goodness. That thing is wonky looking. I'll hold that one in his tracks though. down pretty quick. Are you just standing there? No, my follow-up shot is just terrible. Just terrible. Uh, I'm gonna go with Anna. Uh, is that is that fine? How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. We are absolutely farming out these reds, though. Oh my goodness! Is that a goat or a red? Six. Okay, let me in, let me in the stand. Let's do the tree stand too, so you can crouch. 
No, so that's like a huge advantage over the, the tripod. Okay, so that should be three hit there. Just saw... Where's the other herd at? Okay. So three has got to go, I think. Don't you do this to me. Oh. Absolutely folded. Right, regain our breath for a second. Regain the breath. That spine shot is just and nutty, dude. It puts him down so fast. Alright, we got three more shots. Make one more change. Take our three shots. And then go pick them up and see where we end up at. But ideally, after this run, we can switch to the 300. And then we can kind of do a compare and contrast with the 300 versus... Versus the 308. Honestly, I'm really liking the 308. I think the 308 is super nice. It has great follow-up shots. It's super accurate. The thing just kind of touches where you want it to touch. And that zeroing, when I figure out the zeroing, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Okay, loner spawn got wiped. You're looking goat. Seven, it's a good size. Male. Myth. Oh my goodness. Hey, 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 I need you. Dude, that's our, uh, that's our piebald female. So... Was crazy, probably on the other one, right? Because there's no there's no shot that there's two piebald females on my map. I wonder if that piebald male too though. I don't know. Now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. I freaking go though, dude. I uh, ah. So now we've got a, as long as I can get to it, a male and female pie red. Right? That's not pie bold. That's just a brown. Look at that rack on this thing. Did, did I not hit it? 
Was I seeing things? Was I seeing things? It's a piebald, wasn't it? They were just wanting to see a piebald. Is that what it is? I'm just wanting to see a pie and I'm not actually seeing them? I'm losing my freaking mind? I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I want to finish that mount, you know? I want to... I want to uh, to have the male and female. I think I am going crazy. I do believe I am. Heck and heck. So I do have at least one to pick up down there. I think that's gonna put us over our our three hundred. Yeah, so I've been fooled twice now by the animals like lining up weird, so the white spots are overlapping with the dark spots. But seeing that one piebald male got me so jacked immediately of the potential of another one. Pretty close to max level, too. Now, before we do switch to a new map, too, I think I want to try to maybe respec to Keen Eye. Um, but, man, is it worth it? You know, I guess that is the, the question is, is that Keen Eye actually worth it? Actually, I don't know if this one went down. Let's jump over here. Grab that 300. Three hundred canning. Polymer, right? I'm broke again. Rear weight. Been nice hanging out with you, buddy. But we are on to bigger rifles. Let's go ahead and reset time. Okay, I can. So can I? <laughs> do I have the money for that? And let's do a spawn reset. There's some big boys in that group. The 
kind of funny that's where that pie was last time, too. Oh. My goodness. What? Oh, dude. Wow, that 300, though. Oh, I missed, I think. Homie. This thing is nuts. It just absolutely collapses them. Uh, you gotta hit him though first. I mean, look at how fast that bleed out is. Dude. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's unreal. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Hold it. Just. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Papa. I see what you're saying, homie. Wow. Question is, what does it do to the rating? What is that? Is that a goat? <sighs> Ow. You done goofed. <laughs> you done goofed. Oh, dude, that thing gets some serious pen. I mean, it doesn't seem to hurt the cash that bad, really. Eh, I mean, it is 500 less per harvest, I guess. And less XP as well. Eh. Eh. Is it worth it? I don't know. But the big thing now is we can go do... Moose. Really effectively. You know, and, and that... Was more the, the goal of the 300. Was to be able to go do Moose on Medved. For those of you that have liked the stream, I deeply, deeply appreciate it. It helps us push off a ton. It does so many good things for the channel. It pushes the video. It pushes the cha the uh, the stream. You know, it does a lot of things for us that uh, that really help propel to the next level. So I appreciate those of you that have hit like on there. Your skirt. So I guess the the trade off here is. The immediate down. Eh, it's still twelve hundred for a for a good sized stag. So 
So as long as I'm double lunging, they're dropping pretty much in their tracks. Which, the lungs on these reds are freaking massive. Grab some extra ammo. Go to our, you know, most productive spot. And we'll see how good this actually is. I mean, it is about a grand a crack, so you pretty much got to make sure you hit your shot when you do take it. So there is that to consider. Reload is kind of pokey. We got 844. Six. That seven can get dusted. All right, let's dust these. Alright, I think those are all good, solid hits. One, two. Uh, I think that's a miss. Where those goats go? Goats. Where are you, goats? There you are. Oh my goodness, that thing, that first one just folded. I don't know where I hit that second one. Must have been a flesh hit. Doesn't matter because it's down two. You know, this will make the Revan Thule boost grind so much easier. A lot of times I've pulled it out instead of my binoculars it is too high. I think that's one of our next big pushes is going to be Reventuli Moose. What we're going to do is we need to grind this out for a few more hours. And then I can go buy a bunch of tents. Uh, we can set up for Moose on Rev. And we can set up for a uh, big Moose. You know, big dime. I know a lot of people are pushing for Moose on Medved, uh, but personally, I, I prefer Revan Thule. I just, I do. But the rate at which we're making money, I mean, a thousand off a goat, you know? We can stack goats, we can stack all sorts of stuff, and just pull in the creds. And with how flat this thing shoots, we should really get to the point where the moose are making us great money as well. Oh. I don't have... I, I, I don't have a close-up scope. No! All right, 150 meters zero. That was not what I wanted, but we got it. Ooh, a lot long shot, even. Oh, 
I'll take that. Uh, let's hit... Let's hit this way. We're already at 10k again. And dude, we're down to 800, like, not even 10 minutes ago. Yeah, like I said, I'm spending time shooting rabbits, you know, and crap like that, instead of just hard focusing. If I was hard focused on the red deer grind, doing the cash style grind, we'd make so much money so fast, it'd be just unreal. I mean, like, if I had a couple of rifles, I should throw that 308 maybe on as well. Um, I can shoot the the 300, switch over to the the 300 or the 308, and be able to effectively take a bunch of animals at a time. The big thing here is as soon as I get into this blind, they're going to scoot. The 300, though. Oh, my goodness. Like, I, I, was, I almost just don't feel like it's fair. Like, the, the thing is just so strong. I guess that's the integrity score, right? Don't hurt me. I don't think I hit it. <gasps> ah! I said don't hurt me. I don't think I hit that. Oh. Oh, I think I did. I think I did. I did. Look at these. Just stacked. That's mine. That's also mine. There's a seven... Seven across the lake can go. It just folds so fast. Ooh, that was a intestine hit. That was a that was bad on my part. Okay, that one was not. Look here, goat. 
I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six thousand creds, seven. Just sitting there on the side of the lake. And it will reset this pressure over here so we can go back over here. We we're already at 14k, so we're at like 23, 24, something like that in total. You know, it's 16 per tent. All at 17 to highball. The big seven. All right, so that seven's got to go. Uh, so you kind of go, let's get oats. All right, let's go ahead and reload, catch our breath. I think I missed that second goat. I think I missed that one for sure. Oh, science infection sucks. It means it's almost time to irrigate the old nostrils again. All right, I think we can go pick up our animals now. All right, let's check one more spot first. Check one more spot. Just in case there's, you know, high quality or high number or something like that. But this lake is a pretty good lake for me. Usually there's a bunch of myths on this one. Four. The seven. A couple of decent sized ones over there. There's a seven, a six. I mean, it just, it just puts them down. I mean. The recoil is a little high. However, I am running at like 16 times scope, you know, so the felt visual recoil is going to be significantly more than if I had iron sights or... I don't know. I thought that was a good hit. Oh, trees it, between us. Dang trees! Look here, bot. 
bottomus bottomus get out of here I think that's all the males. That's all the males. So I'll make one more jump to... Hmm. Over here. We got four rounds left. I'm just going to take this now. Oh, no. I think my zero was off. Oh, no. Stampede! Okay, I guess we do a little more picking up. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pick these animals up. Uh, for those of you who hung out for the stream, I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. This video will be edited down into a little more bite-sized bits of pieces. So, again, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you around. I think I missed that badge, that 20. Look like that. Never. Three. I think what I want is like three or four kilograms, right? <laughs>